from that via to that via there because yeah, that oh, I don't want to update will you go away you stupid Welcome back. Right, one of the boxes. Yeah. I've opened it just to check what's in it. Didn't really want to open a blow up sheep live on YouTube, so I had to check. Kind of lost my marbles, really. But it's something I'm just preparing, I'm not keeping it. If I can get it out. Jesus. Yeah, definitely will be keeping this. <laughs> Damn, that's yellow. Yeah. I think it's a game. Yeah. Mega 600. Yeah. And apparently, there's no video on it. So, oh boy. Right. It's a bit worse for wear, but T base are all worse for wear. Let's plug it in. Uh, you don't plug in very comfortably. What the hell is wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. It don't plug in very well because it doesn't plug in. <laughs> the board's up. Board's not even sat down in there. Let's open it first then, shall we? Dead giveaway with these is when there's no power pack or mouse or anything with it. If it's just the unit, it's generally somebody bought it, tried to fix it, and screwed it up probably. Hopefully they haven't screwed it up. But it's eBay. Different screw. Yeah, I wonder how many of these uh, prongs are left in there. Mm. Uh. Oh, there'll be no uh, catchment prongs on it. <laughs> so, yeah, so all the prongs on the back are all snapped off. There isn't any. <laughs> So somebody's opened this who doesn't know how to open them. And there's no shield in it. So when you open these 600s, be careful, don't just yank it. Underneath here, see that? It's a little uh, power for the whew, LEDs. Unplug that first and then gently flip it back over. Yeah. So on the keyboard. Gently prise up like that, and then you can take the keyboard out. Just checking the ends of the ribbons. Yeah, looks all right. And let's get this uh, floppy drive out. Right, let's see what it's doing. Yeah, it's not doing anything. <laughs> There's video signal there. But the screen's gone black. My guess is that's the reset. Can't smell anything. It's just there. Uh, let it get to temperature, warm up a bit. So the reset's over here, the 555 chip. It's this tiny little one you probably can't see from there. My capacitors, these are very straight. They're different. Yeah, they're different capacitors. So somebody's replaced some of the capacitors on here. What is that? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> um, well, we'll get you over to have a look. So, this bit just here. See this little white bit here? Turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good news. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get this board out. Let's get this board out. There's only one screw. Oh, the other's not there. Right. Not good. Yeah. Not a problem. I've changed the um, <coughs> you can't see. Changed the ROM chip. It's still the same. So over on the five five five, it's stuck on reset. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Shouldn't be plugged in really. <coughs> yeah. So stuck on reset. Get out of the way. So come to this capacitor over here to remove it and clean that sparky bit of area up where all the corrosion was, well the bubbling corrosion, yeah. one of the pads wasn't connected yeah. and the other one when I've desoldered it it's just come away so now we're just left with a blank square yeah. Um right. So now we need to attach um a ten fire twenty-five volt capacitor to that. But there's no pad. <laughs> so get rid of all this. Let's get the uh, laptop and the camera out. An expensive scope camera. Don't need that anymore. There's a 555. And there's the capacitor. Well, what's left of the capacitor? As you see it, this is the pad that lifted when I took it off. This is the pad what well wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. So that's probably the reason it's not resetting. What was that? Get off. Stupid. So what we're gonna have to do here the corrosions from the capacitors obviously it's just started. We've lost a pad. Me desoldering it, it's pulled the other pad off. So we scrape this away. I don't know how much of this is still attached. Let's just check. Oh, it's barely attached over there to that capacitor there. So we can air flat it down a bit. A bend on that. That's so what I might do then is because that trace is lifted to that capacitor as well. I'll wire up from this fire here. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm gonna wire up to this fire here. That's the um negative. And then this pad, which is a positive, comes along. I think it goes to this fire here. Yeah, it does. Is there anything there? No, there's nothing there at all. <laughs> there's absolutely nothing there. So we'll have to attach it from that via to that via. There. Yeah, because that fire. Oh. I don't want to update. Will you go away, you stupid positive capacitor here? Goes to. These two pins here, my five five five. 
So try and get it lined up with that fire and this here. And so these two need to be soldered up together. That and that one. So I'm gonna have to bridge that with a little bit of wire. Great. Yeah. I hate six hundreds. Let's cut a bit of that. So that got me sorted to them too. This looks. Oh my god. This is why I prefer consoles. You don't get any of this crap with consoles. Put that into place. Seriously? That's got both of them. <clears throat> yeah, that's got both of them. So we'll cut that off. Or not. Let's make sure still connection. Get in the frame. Yeah, now we have. So I need to solder the capacitor from there to there. Eight. There's no um, 10 farad 25 volts in the kit. This is a 35 volt. Now you can use um, a 35 volt in replace of a 25 volt. That's just its storage capacity. But when the reset chip activates, only calls for five volts. So whether this is twenty, oops, excuse me, whether this is twenty-five volt, thirty-five volts, or forty-five volts, it's only going to take five volts off of it. If you get me, does that make sense? Well, it's going to work anyway. Well, if I can get it soldered on, <laughs> yeah. Um, where's my uh, capacitor tweezers? They're not them. There they are. Right, this is going to be bloody fiddly. I might get away with that, but it's still on the other capacitor, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Ideally, I could have done a super glue in this down, but never mind. Um, right. Yeah. There's enough there, I think. We'll soon find out. Get a solder.
get it where I want it. Yeah, you have to bear it, you can't see this bit. Oh, got it first go. What are the chances of that? And how far is that from there? Oh, it's right on there and all. Um, I need to hold that bit of wire down at the same time as I'm soldering. Which isn't going to work. I think I got it. Let's put that off. Um, let's check this continuity still between them two capacitors. That one and that one. There is. Oh, and there is. Let's turn that off. <coughs> It's not pretty, but it may have done the job. I am. Someone put this get out of my way. When I built all this, I should have made this desk a lot bigger. I think this is a little bit deeper than the other desk I used to have downstairs, but the other desk was longer. Yeah, I've realised that now. <laughs> you very quickly run out of room. Um, let's move that out of the way. So that's the problem what happens when you're working on something that somebody else has worked on. Don't need sound. Um, uh, well, we can only try it. Just, just move it back a bit. <laughs> Still might do is put some um, super glue on that, on the square under there, and hopefully it takes. Because there's not much uh, trace to hold that down. Um, God, my eyes. Right, I've cleaned this. You know how to clean this, so you didn't need to see it. Well, if I've left this running, it's fine. Everything's warmed up as it should be. So we'll turn that off. Um, put this back in. Right. Let's see if we can get workbench on. so far. There you go. Splendid. Yeah, it's just a shame about that. It is where it is. Yeah, right, cool. Turn that out. Uh, turn it off. Right. Temporary put back in its case. Well, actually, I can put it in the base anyway. It's the top one that needs cleaning. Let's do that. Um, right, let's do that. Right, let's put it back together for now. Alright, let me um, just check on something. So those capacitors haven't been replaced. No. <laughs> Point out you can't see. So the ones behind the ribbon, they haven't been replaced. There's one here, which has been replaced. And M3 have been replaced. Well, attempted to be replaced. So back to that same thing I've always said. If it don't need replacing, don't replace it. 
somebody's replaced that and screwed it up and that's why it still hasn't worked afterwards because he's messed the pad up and then hasn't cleaned it it's kind of pointless doing it god that's terrible what the hell's happened to that Bloody things. Get in, you boring me. Get in! It's just a glorified 500. Oh, we didn't need a 500. We had one. We love one. Well, oh, some people love it. It's debatable. Joking. Where am I? Make sure we got lights. Yeah, we've got light. Uh, um, there. Nothing, yeah, it does. God, it's an ugly colour. <laughs> That's yellow. And it, the keys are like matte. All of it is matte. Actually, it looks like somebody sprayed it with matte yellow. I'll show you in a minute. Well, you can probably see there, can't you? Oh! Sulfane's still on the label. Hmm. I'll peel that off at the end once I've cleaned all this. Yeah. Hmm. Right. That's that. Fixed. Surface mounts, if you don't know what you're doing, don't. It's not worth it, just leave them. Really not worth it. Yeah, so, like I just said, just if you haven't done, if you're not good at your soldering, or you're not up to scratch with your soldering, don't play with these things. If it's the surface mounts, they're just not worth it. Practice on the I've got stacks of them here, well, they're not practice buds, but yeah, just get yourself a little uh, blank shaker buds. Or just get an old electronics item that you know you no longer use. Take it apart and mess with it with soldering iron. If you never use it, it doesn't make any difference, you're gonna break it. But yeah. That uh, that's applying too much heat while they're trying to resolder it. Or desolder the other one, which they've replaced. If you're gonna replace them Actually just don't. Get somebody who does it for a living, who knows what they're doing. Mm. I mean, they didn't replace it. It's just that you lost the pad in the process. So there's no point soldering it back down to the board, was it really? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> uh. Right, um, well, that's fixed. Yeah. The eBay advertisement for this was he had it up for a uh, hundred and thirty-five, I think. Something like that. It did state that there was no signal. There was a signal, but it was just stuck in a loop. So if you get one of them, first thing to do, take out the ROM chip and replace it. But remember, sit it back. Don't populate the first. Yeah. Don't populate on the socket, the very first row. Sit back from it. Because this is the exact same as the um, 500 plus, oh, it's the exact same as the 500 plus, sit back one, and the 500 is the correct amount, the 500 plus, and the 600 isn't, so it's sitting back, yeah, so if it doesn't work after that, there's still no signal, then it's going to be a 555 chip, generally it's going to be that um, capacitor which is the 10 fire 25 volt and you can use like i said a 35 volt won't make any difference because all the reset's asking for is 5 volts that's it it's vcc 
So it's only taking five volts. It can't take any more than that anyway. So it doesn't really matter you're putting a 35 volt in there. But yeah, if, you, if you're if not great at soldering, don't even tempt surface mounts. I mean, you've seen what I've just fiddled about with there. The wire I use here is 0.2 gauge of a mil. It's, it's like hair. I mean, it looks really big there because the light's shining on it, but it's not. It's, if I get rid of the light, so it doesn't reflect, you can hardly see it, if you can see it. That's how small it is. It looks massive in the scope camera. That's what it's called, scope camera. So it scopes right in. So yeah, it does look big, but it's not. So yeah, if you want to do stuff like that, just practice. Practice and practice. When I first started it, when I got a job working for, um, we'll say a communications company. It was a military one, so I can't. But yeah, when I worked for them, I got sold to save my life. <laughs> I've never picked up the solar line. And they sent us on a course. We did a course for about, I think it was about three weeks, four weeks, to learn how to solder. I can't remember. I was 18, 19 at the time. Only a couple of years ago. Well, you practice, better you get. Don't be shy to use flux, because flux is your friend, it helps the solder flow. But yeah, so I was saying before I interrupted myself, what was I saying? Oh, I have forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah, the eBay advert. So I think 135, 125, or 35, 135 or 25. And then he reduced it to 100 quid. So I thought, why not? It's only 100 quid. But, yeah. He's obviously bought it. Thought he'd have a go at replacing it. Replaced a few capacitors. It still didn't make any difference. That's because you knackered one of them, mate. But yeah, so if you get that signal, try that capacitor after you've replaced the ROM. <sighs> so that's another one fixed. And the next video of oh, the um, game of the week, even though I didn't post the video last week. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Dentist pulled out a tooth. We didn't pull out my tongue, so obviously he's pulled out my tooth. He's a dentist. Yeah, game of the week, uh, Clock, Tower, Clock Tower 3 on PS2. That's um, quite a collector's item. Yeah, not cheap. Anyway, so the next video, it'll be cleaning this. Uh, get it back to white. I don't know what's wrong with those keys. I don't know if I can show you. You can see how yellow it is. But the keys have got no shine on them. They're flat. I don't know if somebody's been trying to scrub them or what. I don't know what's happened there, but I've never seen the keys like that. They're a matte finish. And they shouldn't be. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm all better now. Face has been pulled off and replaced. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. See ya.